Hello and welcome to Bearing It All in the Kitchen. My name is Matthew Beausoleil, chef of Bear Magnet TV. We're going to show you some simple and delicious recipes that will wow your hunting party. Today we're making bear and pork meatballs in creamy gravy. Let's get started. All bear meat used in the production of Bearing It All in the Kitchen has been harvested by Bear Magnet TV Pro Staff. Let's see today's ingredients. Ground bear, ground pork, panko breadcrumbs, egg yolks, nutmeg, allspice, fried onions, olive oil, and for our sauce, parsley, flour, butter, sour cream, and beef broth. Let's get cooking. Now we're ready to get started. First off, we're gonna mix our bear meat and our pork meat. It's always best to mix these with your hands. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Once the meat is well mixed, we're gonna make a well in the center and we'll start adding our ingredients. Start with our eggs. our panko breadcrumbs, our nutmeg, allspice, and our fried onions. We'll give this a good mix and we're ready to start rolling. They're well incorporated, we're now going to roll balls about one and a quarter inches in diameter. Now we're ready to put them in the pan. Let's get cooking. Our titanium exclusive pan was preheated to medium. Our olive oil is ready to go. It's running like water. It's time to put in the meatballs. We're gonna let the meatballs brown perfectly on each side. Once we've waited about two minutes, we'll flip the balls and we will keep doing that until they're perfectly brown all around. Our meatballs are now perfectly brown on one side. It's time to flip them over. Our meatballs are almost cooked. We're gonna take them out of the pan with a slotted spoon. Place them aside on paper towel while we prepare a sauce. We're now ready to make our gravy. Every good gravy starts with a roux, which is butter, and flour. Once the butter is well melted, we'll incorporate the flour. Now we're going to add in our flour and whisk it in with the butter. What we're doing is forming a paste, a roux, which will help thicken our gravy. using a large pan, you can tip the pan so that the butter and the flour can incorporate better. Once our roux starts to turn brown, we'll then add in our beef stock. Our roux is now light golden brown. It's time to add in our beef stock. You want to make sure to give this a good whisk to incorporate the roux and the stock. Mm -hmm. 
as it comes back to a simmer, the stock and roux will start to thicken. Our gravy is shaping up well. It's now time to add in our sour cream. Give that a good stir. Once this starts to simmer, we're gonna season it with sea salt and cracked pepper, and then we'll add in our meatballs. All of our ingredients for our sauce is well incorporated. It's time to add in our meatballs. We're going to mix regularly for the next 8 to 10 minutes to properly coat the meatballs and to reduce the, the gravy a little bit more. Our meatballs are now ready, the gravy is thickened, we're ready to plate. We're going to transfer the meatballs to a bowl. Get some sauce on the edge, not to worry, we'll give it a quick wipe before serving. Top it off with a bit of sauce. Some fresh parsley. Cracked pepper. Give the edge a quick wipe. Presentation. And there you have it. Barren pork meatballs in a creamy gravy. This will impress all of your guests and can be served as an appetizer or as a main dish with rice. For this recipe and more, check back to Bear Magnet TV. My name is Matthew Beausoleil for Bearing It All in the Kitchen. We'll see you soon. Ciao.